what's up everybody welcome back to the channel hopefully you all are having a very blessed and wonderful day today's video topic will be a serious one regarding the issue with in-game and how this could possibly impact the player's experience now i'm gonna have some background gameplay of me running on mastery level 51 in the background because what i'm showing you is extremely important and this is going to tie into the whole narrative of this video so if you played the game then you would know what the mastery levels are which are higher difficulties that are really meant to test your builds each finished mastery level adds to your overall finite crisis level now the main reason for doing these mastery levels outside of testing your builds is because that's where the bigger rewards and gear are located different incursion missions that give out all types of certain things one of them gives our weapons another one gives our shields lucky charms neck bomb mods things of that nature and the higher you progress you begin to unlock a new tier of the loot pool and how many rewards you can receive at a given time now one thing that suicide squad has been trying to hammer home from the beginning is that we are meant to make our builds the way that we want to. A player's creative freedom is allowed to run wild in this environment. That right there is where the issue lies. Let me explain. So once you reach around 50 to 55 on the mastery levels, the enemies start scaling extremely high and they get very tanky for no reason. At which point, your build really needs to be firing on all cylinders in order to actually survive and do damage in order to come. Actually, no, not even just to complete the missions. Your build needs to be good to simply just survive, period. Now, when I say your build has to be firing on all cylinders, what I mean is that it has to follow a set blueprint, and that is the big problem. So because the enemies start scaling so high, very Various perks and other reflections start to get left behind in the way back, right? They get more outpaced because they cannot keep up with the scaling, which in turn makes them useless after a certain point. The flat damage that you're going to see coming out simply won't get the job done anymore. Diablo Blaze, which is the fire reflection. That is the only thing that is a true exception from this very issue, and it's actually the main problem at the same time. So Diablo quickly becomes a must have. It, actually, no, 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 no. It goes from a must have to a requirement when you're doing the higher difficulties because Diablo scales off the enemy's health. They deal damage equal to a percentage of that enemy's overall health. So let me put this in, let me put this in your head, right? For example, you could have a finely tuned build a finely tuned build that is bouncing electricity and ice off of one another right you got numerous perks lined up you got the skill tree looking right in order to stack up certain things and back them up you got an easy method to hit a combo of 50 right away in the middle of a fight you got about seven to ten buffs currently active that's mixing with everything else you got tossed in that pot and you've could definitely crack 10 million on a critical shot i bet you would be feeling good about what you just did because it's like man i really did the damn thing putting all this together i feel like i made a decent build i can't wait to see how it does in the higher end content only to look over to your left and then see that somebody else just did the same damage output using diablo because it can easily tick for like a million to hit and they did all of that damage while only doing one tenth of the work that you had to put in just to get that result that right there is the goddamn problem in the gameplay you can see right now if you're not looking away from the screen i went in on a jank ass build on purpose that had fire on one or two things only just to test something now the health scale is so high i was running out of ammo trying to drop bodies like i was i was i was down bad in this scenario i was stuck throwing hands for the remainder of round one and round two if i'm correct but at, at least two to three times i completely ran out of ammo for both my weapons diablo was the only thing that was working when i tried to use the craze build that i got for harley i caught a beating worse than what the cowboys get every year because they suck my craze build actually isn't bad neither i'm gonna show that build to y'all in another video because i'm like i'm i'm just getting the final final uh touches on it but that build isn't bad like anything 50 and below i can run either solo or well enough to actually be a factor to my team i just simply get outpaced because of the scaling because the other afflictions get left behind now moving forward this needs to change because this seriously damages the entire idea of build diversity right it's 
it's nothing wrong with Diablo. Actually, no, you know what? I lied. It is something wrong with Diablo, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. There's nothing wrong with having Diablo-related builds specifically, but being bottlenecked into having to make those builds in order to do in-game content is crazy, and I very much don't like it. And before people say it, because there's always somebody that feels like they have to chime in, I understand that in other games like this, there are certain builds that have to be made in order to do in-game content, but the difference is you can tend to experiment and tweak those builds as to where is it doesn't and so like you have room to have other things in there and still be able to run necessarily what it is you want to run suicide squad isn't that right now either you use diablo and you reduce the chances of you getting smacked up or you don't use it and the chances of you getting smacked up won't be lower than 100 percent diablo itself because this is the issue also has a very high damage output like this is something that i don't see going unchecked for long and even more so because our community manager uh dark he actually spoke on this i'm gonna put the uh, tweet up here on the screen we are aware of an issue with damage dealt from the burning affliction where it is not currently afflicted by scaling at high mastery levels making it too powerful relative to other strategies we are working to verify a fix for this and we're hoping to drop it soon this should open up the diversity of builds at the high mastery levels and there's still a few builds that we found at the studio that we're yet to see discovered now here's my whole thing right Diablo is actually broken because as the tweet just said, it's not scaling correctly. But even with the nerf that's coming, that still doesn't fix the big issue at hand, which is the scaling just in general with everything else. If anything, Diablo might actually become a victim like the other reflections, depending on how much it gets nerfed. They either need to tweak the scaling on the enemy's health so that, yeah, they can still become, you know, tanky in the end game, but it's not too tanky it's to the point as to where is we literally can't deal with them unless we're doing one very specific thing which is diablo because once they touch the millions in health even the grunts are like mini bosses at that point or simply the second option they could just buff every other affliction and put them either on or close to the same level as diablo because then all of these builds that people have put genuine time and resources into will actually be viable again and that's another thing too save your resource if you're not already in the process of making a burn build save your resources because it's going to catch a nerf pretty soon save your resources save them right just go ahead and save them now for the viewer I'm not saying that because I, I have to say this because I know sometimes people kind of jump to conclusions and I don't want any of y'all to feel like I'm saying y'all have a bad big one or y'all don't know what you're doing because it, it, it's nothing like that. I'm sure a lot of you actually have some very fun and dope builds out there. What I'm saying is that no matter how good the build might be now, you if it's not Diablo related, you will reach a certain point where that build cannot perform anymore. And you're going to be sitting there like, what am I doing wrong? It's not you. It's the game. Now, if you want to go higher in the mastery levels, you won't have a choice but to switch to Diablo. If you go and look at the leaderboard right now, nine out of 10 people are using Diablo to the highest extent possible. Matter of fact, I believe in solos. What? Eight out of 10 people that's currently in the solos category are all from the same clan and they are all using burn if i could if i'm like depending on if whether or not i went to go check i'm gonna put a picture up here and you, and you can see everybody is from the same goddamn clan everybody is using the same goddamn affliction now you won't see any build up here where diablo isn't the main factor if this doesn't get addressed it's going to go from a bad problem to worse the other afflictions are going to get left behind completely even more than they already are people are going to stop playing due to being upset about being bottlenecked into certain builds there's other people in creators i know that are stop that are stopping progression once they hit to the 50s because the current system sucks they don't want to go any forward because they want to be able to use the stuff that they made not get bottlenecked into making certain stuff because their builds got rendered useless and they can't take them any further don't get me wrong right i still love the game and i still enjoy it but i would be damned if i didn't say that this mixed in with the other numerous bugs running rampant which i'm going to talk about in another video all of this stuff like together are really hindering the gameplay experience suicide squad has a good foundation to stand on but it's having a very rocky launch period and if things cannot get figured out things honestly might not be too bright to the future but here's the hoping and praying that that doesn't come 
to pass so with that being said it's going to go ahead and it's going to bring us to the end of this video hopefully all of you have had a great time here let me know down in the comments below how do you feel about the diablo affliction do you feel like it's busted or it's just right how do you feel about the other afflictions getting left behind in the higher mastery levels and if you've enjoyed the video please remember to like share and subscribe and smack the notifications bell so you won't ever miss out on any of my suicide squad related content and i will catch y'all in the moonlight peace